Today we are going to become mathematicians. So what is this all about? So this is magic using math. And it's going to be of great fun for all of you, including the little children. So I'm going to give you two different types of magic. This first episode will be for the little ones. And the next one is going to be highly interesting even for adults. So let's look at this. So I have got, you can do it on a piece of paper or you can do it on the floor or you can do it on the table, wherever you want. But just for me to show it to you, I've stuck it here in a notebook. So I have written numbers here. And I'm going to ask someone to choose the number cards. And I will guess, and I've already guessed and stuck here, what the answer is going to be of the numbers that they choose. So they're basically going to be choosing three numbers. So they're going to add the three numbers and get it to a single digit. And I have already predicted what number that is going to be. So are we ready? So assuming, okay, yes, let me say that this is going to be my magic wand and I'm going to ask someone to kind of come and predict and say, what are these number cards? Which ones are they going to choose? So let me say, I'm just going to close my eyes and just be pointed to something here. Okay, so this is a card which is being chosen. Assume you can, you can ask another child to choose it or someone else to choose it. So this is a card. Since I've stuck it, I've got all these numbers. All the cards have got numbers written and I've just turned it around. So here I have a card which is written here. So let me just open it up for you so that you are able to see what the number is. So you have the number 2 written here. The next number that you will need to choose or ask the person who is actually finding out or helping you to do this magic to choose that person cannot choose any of the numbers in this column or in this row. That's because you've already opened up a particular number here. So remember you have two which you've opened up here. So I'm going to place it here on the table here, the number two. And the other numbers, obviously we know that the other number cannot be something which is in this row or sorry, in this column or in this row. So the other number assuming that is chosen as so let's see here. So let's see what the other number is. So here we open up. Since I've stuck it, let me pull it out. Oh, it seems to be 4. So I place it here. So now remember, I cannot choose anything from this row. Neither can I choose anything from this. So which means I'm left with only this one last piece here. And I open it up and let's see what comes out. It seems to be 9. So here I have got these three numbers, which are 2, 4 and 9. So let me place it here for you. It is 2, 4 and 9. You have a 2, you have a 4 and you have a 9. So when I add up these numbers, it is 9 plus 2 is 11. 11 plus 4 is 15. I told you I want it as a single digit number. So 1 plus 5 is 6. And I told you that I've already predicted and written something here. So let's turn it around and see what the answer was that I predicted. It is nothing but 6, which is exactly the same answer that you've got now. So now let me tell you, how do they do this trick? It's very simple and this can be done by all the children in material of whether you are in the first standard or whether you are in the 10th standard. So you need to write out, take up these cards. You can use even your playing cards. That's also possible. Or you could use cards or sheets of paper where you've written. So you have numbers which are written as 1, 2, 3. So here I have, I'll open it up. So it is nothing but you'll have 1, 2, 3. And the next row you will have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you just need to place it in that order. The reason we are not opening it and keeping it is because some of the people will have certain numbers which are these special numbers or they like or the lucky numbers. So here we want to make sure that you know it is not going to be chosen from the row or the column and then figure out the math behind it. Because when you add up these numbers, it will come to the magic number 15 and when you add up 1 and 5, you will get 6. 
So try this out and let's wait for the next episode, which is going to be math the magic for the adults. And it is really interesting. So keep watching and do subscribe to the channel.